Hey everyone, my name is Peter and I'm the founder of Branch, a continuous integration and deployment tool for WordPress. In this video, I want to show you how you can set up continuous integration and deployment for all your projects on Pantheon. So let's start out by creating an account on Branch. So I'm here on the special sign up page for Pantheon users, and this will give you access to the Pantheon specific features inside of Branch. So hit register. And then the first thing we need to do is connect Branch to our Git provider. So in my case, that's going to be GitHub. And then the next thing we can do is we can set up our project. Um, so let's start out by explaining what project we're going to work on for this tutorial. So over on Pantheon, I have this uh, default WordPress site called WP Rig. I've cloned this um, WordPress site to my local machine and pushed it to GitHub. So I have all the files over there as well. And this is where we're going to work. So we're going to push all our changes to GitHub. And then we're going to use branch to deploy those back to Pantheon. Uh, and specifically, what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, very cool theme development framework called WP rig, we're going to configure that. Um, and we're then going to use branch to deploy that to a Pantheon multi dev environment. So back in branch, we need to uh, set up our project and connect it to the Git repository. So we can call it WP rig Pantheon, give it a Git repository, hit save. So this is how, where we can configure our project uh, in branch. So first we have our steps here. This is where we can configure all the different build, uh, test and deployment steps we have in our pipeline. We have our environment variables, we have an SSH key, and then we have this integrations tab where we can connect to our Pantheon account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we're asked to provide a Pantheon machine token. So if you head over to the Pantheon dashboard, you can create a new machine token for branch. Create token. Copy that token and paste it back into branch. So now branch is doing a few things behind the scenes to connect our branch account to our Pantheon account. So here's a list of all our sites on Pantheon, and we're going to pick the WP rig one. So by clicking connect branch is going to automate a few things for us. Um, first of all, it's going to share our SSH key with Pantheon. So in our build steps, we're able to talk to Pantheon, basically. It's also going to set up a few environment variables for us um, with some uh, Pantheon specific options that we can also use in our build steps. That's stuff like the Git URL, the machine token, um, stuff like that. Okay, cool. So we can configure our build steps now. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to build and we need to build our WP rig theme. And it involves a few different steps such as uh, npm install, composer install, and then there's a bundle command we need to run as well. So you could do this as individual steps. Um, in branch, the way you set up a step is you give it a name and environment and command. So you can see here, by default, it selects the Node.js environment. So we could run npm install, hit save, add a new step, and do the same for Composer, and then just pick the Composer environment. But Branch also has these templates, um, and these are common use cases, basically. And we actually have one for WP Rig to bundle a theme. And if we select this template, all this stuff is going to be pre-populated for us. And the WP rig environment has a node, composer, and gulp already, so we don't need to do it in separate steps. Um, and the commands we're going to run is basically npm run rig init, which is a command that WP rig makes available that will run both npm install and composer install. 
and the prefix is just prefix is just to tell it that we're going to run inside the WP rig development directory. Um, next, we're going to run npm run bundle to bundle our theme. This is going to create a new folder um, with the actual theme that we want to deploy. And then finally, we're going to uh, delete the WP rig directory because we don't want to deploy our source files. So if we hit save on that, that should be good to go. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to deploy our changes to Pantheon. So for that, we can also use a template. We can use the Pantheon multi-dev deployment. So what this code here is going to, going to do is it's going to, every time we open a new pull request on GitHub, it's going to grab our code, run a build, and then it's going to set up a new um, multi-dev environment over in Pantheon and deploy the code from that specific pull request to that environment. So that means that every time we open up a pull request, we'll have a staging site or a multi-dev site available um, to test those specific changes. So that's very cool, of course. Um, if you push code to the master branch, this code here will just uh, basically deploy that to your dev environment on Pantheon. So we can just hit save here as well. And we now have our build pipeline ready for WP rig. Um, if we had tests or other things we wanted to run, we could of course just add that as separate build steps. Um, but before we start a build, we need to actually install WP rig. So we can grab the WP rig uh, Git URL over on the Git repository. We can then uh, navigate into the themes folder on our WordPress site, clone those files. And I'm actually just going to de delete all the Git related files. Um, so WP rig is just going to be included in our overall Git repository. Okay, so we're now ready to create a new branch and commit the WP rig theme. Well, actually, first we need to add a few configuration options. So let's do that before we commit anything. So the th only thing we care about is the theme part right here for now. We can paste that into our config. And rename the slug to WP Rick Pantheon. Name Pantheon and the stuff we don't care about. Okay, so now we're ready to commit everything. And push it to the branch we just created. So now we can open a new pull request over on GitHub for the WP rig stuff to be built. And now what we'll see is that branch is actually starting to build the pull request for us. So if we head over to branch, we should see that our build is running as well. It's right here. So the build is uh, running now, and this is going to take a little while to do all the NPM stuff, the bundle stuff, and then finally the deployment stuff. Um, so I'll be right back with you once uh, all that is finished. All right, so now our build is finished, and uh, we have bundled the WP rig theme and deployed it to Pantheon. So if we head into the Pantheon dashboard, we can see kind of what happened. Um, 
So of course here on the master branch, nothing happened because uh, we opened a PR. Um, but if we go into the multi-dev tab, we now have a new uh, multi-dev environment available. And this uh, corresponds to the number on our pull request over on GitHub, pull request number three. And if we go into this environment, we can see uh, here's our commit installed the rig. And if we head into the site admin inside our WordPress, and we head into appearance themes, we can see that WP rig is now available in here as a theme because we installed it in a pull request. So now the people that are doing code review or a QA review on our pull request can go in here, they can see that we installed WP rig, all looks fine, it's compiled, it's built, bundled or whatever. Um, so they can approve our pull request and we can merge this into master. So basically, whenever we merge the pull request, that would trigger a build of our master branch and then it'll be updated here in the dev environment. So that's basically how it looks if you want to set up a continuous integration workflow with Pantheon. And in this example, we use WP Rig, but you can basically use whatever tools you prefer to build your WordPress sites and then automate the build steps inside of Branch. Um, if you have any questions about this, uh, you can just let me know. Uh, if you already signed up for Branch, feel free to hit the little chat icon in the corner here, and I'll try to be quick to respond to all your messages. So thanks for watching in this. Uh, bye.